Nebraska Cornhusker fight song, and the reason we're playing that is because their quarterback, Chubba Purdy, is our guest right now. Uh, he has been coached by the quarterback whisperer since the ninth grade. Uh, Chubba, I'm just curious, do your ears <laughs> still burn when you try to go to bed at night hearing Manuch yell at you? <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been training with him since eighth grade. Oh, wow. so a little extra year in there. So, <laughs> Chubb, I, I tell you guys, and I think we'll all do. You guys will do group therapy when you're forty to get my voice out of the back of your head because I always instill in them, Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, remember this, remember that. So, hey, we'll do a group therapy session when you guys all get to about forty years old, Chubb. How's that? Yes, I'm gonna need it because I'll, I'll definitely remember all your sayings. <laughs> hey, hey, speaking of sayings, uh, you talk about the message in the word with your new head coach there, Matt Rule, that, that took over there after this season. What are some of the, uh, not so much saying, but what's kind of the gist of what's being instilled with all of you Nebraska Cornhuskers in reference to moving forward this season? Uh, really just the, di the discipline um, compared from to the last year. We were missing the discipline from last year, and we just – we're able to do whatever we really wanted to do, and Coach Rule, ever since he's gotten here, he's instilled that into us, and I think so far um, the, the improvement just by the team and everything just because of that has been uh, a lot better, so it's been really good. Has it been more of a, an attention to detail kind of thing, Chubba? Yes, it's super. Like Coach Rule is he's always focused on attention to detail, and just repeating the same things over and over, trying to get uh, burnt into our brains. So um, just our team meetings, everything's really profound. Um, so I think that's something we really needed as a team. Chubba, watching uh, Baylor, when Matt Rule was there, he ran mm. wide open offense. Uh, is he bringing that same philosophy now to Nebraska? Yes, sir. The same exact thing. Um, Marcus Satterfield, the O.C., he was at Baylor and Temple with him, and they're doing the same exact stuff. So we're super excited to be able to do that and run those things. Um, so we'll see how it goes this year. Is it easy for a quarterback, then, to pick up this particular offense? Um, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, we, they threw a lot at us during spring ball. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, this is my third offense now in college. Right. And going into my fourth year, so I've had a – a lot of football knowledge and a lot of terminology and stuff with all these other offenses. But um, so far, it's been really good. This summer's helped out a lot. All of us getting to learn it even better. So going into fall camp, I think it's going to be going to be awesome. I guess I, I guess the question for that then, Chubby, is does this fit your game mm -hmm. more appropriately than the other three that you had at, at Florida State and at your first year in Nebraska? Yes, sir. Yeah this 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 offense is really pro style in a sense, and um, we do a lot. There's some option stuff in there, too. Uh, I can run the ball and uh, make reads, read the end, have a pitch key and all that kind of stuff. So I like that part of it as well. Um, there's a lot of under center things as well, like the NFL. Uh, they want us to get ready uh, for the next level. So we're going under center a lot. Good. So I think it's really cool because I haven't really gone under center like, like I have been this past spring. So I think it's pretty special so all those times since eighth grade on oh, when i made you guys go <laughs> when i made you guys go under center you're like why why do we got to do this and I, so eventually sooner or later uh, like your brother brock yep. you get to the big leagues or anything else it's starting to come back is what it seemed more under center so all those reps paid off i would think yes exactly yeah i remember you would have us go under center and i was like oh my gosh because that pay we threw in the gun all the yep. time yep. and i was like, i'm never gonna have to use this stuff <laughs> <laughs> sure enough, now I am. Well, and, and it seems as though uh, with Matt Rule's offenses, and he was at Carolina there for a couple of years as far as the pro style and in reference to all that, mm -hmm. um, you've got the big arm. You can throw it deep. You can make all the throws. Do you guys, Will you guys um, drive the ball down the field, be more vertical than a horizontal offense like you had last year in Nebraska? Um, last year, I feel like we went deep a lot, actually. It didn't really – wasn't really successful, but this year we're going to, I think, probably just be a little more precise with it. Uh, we'll probably mix in uh, both, I would imagine. Uh, we like to go deep when we can, but we also like to be smart with 
uh, what we're doing and trying to just get first down. So, All right, last season, Nebraska could move the ball up and down the field. They could put points on the board. But to be honest with each other, defense couldn't stop anybody. Mm -hmm. Have they taken strides to improve the Cornhusker D? Oh, yeah, we got a new defensive coordinator. He's from Syracuse, and he's been uh, he's been doing three down front, drop eight a lot. Um, he's been doing that at Syracuse, and Syracuse had a pretty good defense last year. Yep. Uh, and so going against these guys this year in seven on seven, uh, they're dropping eight right now, like in summer, like just trying to really figure out how to read, and the windows are tight in that. So he's been doing that, but he's also been doing four down as well. So he's he's been mixing it all up. Um, but the guys or corners and linebackers, safeties, everyone's looked really sharp and everyone looks really well. And they've been challenging us as quarterbacks every day when we go out there. So I think the defense is going to be really good. And just really, we got to finish as a team because we lose close games by a field goal or a touchdown. And we just got to finish. So that's what Matt Rule's also been talking about is just finishing in the fourth quarter. Former Perry High School quarterback Chubba Purdy now at Nebraska joining us here on the right Toyota guest line. Chubba, you, you played in the ACC there at Florida State, and you make your foray into the into the Big Ten last year in Nebraska. Um, any noticeable differences with the two conferences at least you can pin your pin your uh, your eyes on that you, you noticed, or is it just good football is good football? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I would have to say the Big Ten would be harder. Um, the ACC, there's a lot of athletes and stuff, but the Big Ten, like, everyone's super precise. Everyone's super, like, just super smart with what they're doing, very profound, and they don't really make a lot of mistakes. Like, you're not going to have a guy running wide open from a busted coverage. Like, guys, are they're going to be in the right spot, so it's up to you to, just to make the right decision-making. So I think the Big Ten has was definitely tougher, so um, I'm excited to compete this year. Well, and on top of that, uh, when you got hurt against Michigan and you, you take on and you go to the Ohio States of the world, the Michigans of the world, and go to the Penn States of the world, all over the place, you look at that. Um, did you allow yourself to absorb the enormity of those stadiums while playing there? Oh, yeah. Like going to Michigan, uh, it was snowing first off, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> um, it was snowing there. And um, the they got like over a hundred thousand fans in there, and it was it was pretty loud, but it wasn't. I mean, I've been in other stadiums that have been louder because uh, Michigan Stadium like flares out a little bit. Yeah. Um, but on third downs and whatnot, like they would they would get pretty loud, and I thought that was pretty sweet. Uh, so that stadium was pretty a pretty awesome to play in in the Big Ten. And then you're playing at Nebraska. I mean, that's the only game in the state, basically, Chubba. You are the guy you're one of the quarterbacks there um how i mean and it's, and it's like manhattan can not quite but i love the midwest folks um how have you taken to the folks there in lincoln yeah the midwest people are awesome super down to earth great people um they're very welcoming and just when you see them out in public like they're super nice to you and they'll um just give you your space whenever you want it and need it like they understand and they love their football they they, I mean, there's no professional football team here. So, I mean, Nebraska is, is their professional team. So, I mean, their, their support has been amazing. And, uh, these fans show up. We've sold out every game, like 390 games consecutive. Wow. Like, it's just crazy. No matter what, they're going to show up. Hey, Chubba, it's Jackson, the rookie here. I got a two part question for you. So, I want to hear about Matt Rule, the new coach. How is he as a coach? And then I saw on Twitter, how is he? as a ping pong opponent. I saw you guys got a little bit of a rivalry on the ping pong table. Just kind of talk to me about those two. Yeah. So coach rule as a coach, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna get on you. Like he wants things to be perfect and he knows we're not perfect, but he wants us to be as good as we can and play to our full potential. So he's going to be on you. And, um, as a, as a, as just a person, he's, he's super funny and he cracks jokes. And then, me and him, like you said, we'll play ping pong against each other. He'll text me and like, "Hey, come up, let's play ping pong right now." And then I'll come up, and then he's already we're he's in the room waiting for me, and we'll we'll go play games and like we'll do best of three every time. And um, I've I've beaten him every time, 
and then he beat he beat me once, and I was like, all right, I gotta go hard because I was so, <laughs> starting to feel bad. <laughs> I was beating him so much. That's great. Yeah, but have, so, you, have you gotten to the point where you got your own paddle, or you just use what's there at, at, in the in the game room there? No, I don't have my own paddle. I, I'm just like whoever gives me a paddle, I'm gonna beat you with this one. So fair enough. Th- those are gotta be some of the things. By the way, um, just because it's 119 out here doesn't mean you have to come home and show up once in a while and come in the lab. I mean, you know, you've been out there when it's 120 before. Are you, <laughs> are you getting soft just hanging out there in Link? And come on, man. When you coming home, let's go. Dude, I know. I'll be going home next week, but I'm going up north to Greer. And we're getting a cabin, and I'm going to go fishing. So. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I got to tell you, move. as much as we miss you, that's a smart move because it's going to be a little toasty here. But, hey, yeah. hey, best of luck to you. Uh, we'll be following you. Um, you know, we just love you and Brock with all you're doing. But it sounds like, gosh, you, you like what's going on out there. It sounds like you're excited for this season to get this bad boy going under Matt Rule. Yes, sir. Uh, we're super excited and going into my fourth year. So just got to be ready at all times and just, See what happens this year. So we're excited as a group. By the way, is, have your folks figured out the best way to get to? Uh, is is it uh, Gateway to Omaha or Gateway to Lincoln and getting in and out of out of Lincoln, Nebraska? Oh man, a Lincoln like there's there's no flights directly into Arizona. It's tough. No, and it sucks because it's right down the road. But um, uh, we got to fly into Omaha, and then you just drive an hour from Omaha to Lincoln. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's all freeway. I've made that run uh, many, many, many times to uh, work some games there with the Cornhuskers. Hey, Chubba, good luck to you, and I'm just glad that you have escaped Manucci, okay? I'm just glad <laughs> well, that where you are. <laughs> hey, now, Chubba, hold on. You haven't, you haven't escaped yet. You haven't yet. escaped? Yeah, here's the thing. All right, As not, I always, not yet. No, I always tell you, no slacking and Cadillacing, oh, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes, sir, I can't. <laughs> Chubba, thank you, man, Thanks, for buddy. your time. Love you. Great having you on the show. Uh, we hope you have a, a yeah, great I season. Thank you, Chubba. See you, pal. There you go. Uh, that is Chubba Purdy, Nebraska quarterback. Uh, how he's doing. Manuj, all of these guys that we have on, Tyler Shuck, Chubba Purdy, uh, Ty Thompson, they all they all have Manucci-isms. That's right. And and they're and they're trying to escape you. Poor kids. <laughs> yes, Jeez. exactly. That's why I said when they yeah. when they're 40, we'll have to move and mix some <laughs> kind of a therapy session. We'll get group discount for the therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> all right.